to do a Think, Inc., Pair, Share. And we're already in our partners. So I'm going to present you a problem, and you will think about it by yourself. Please don't discuss it out loud. I know that's tempting. We do a lot of elbow partner talking to each other in our class. But right now, for Think, Inc., Pair, Share, the first thing you need to do is think. think. And that happens inside your head. Please don't share it. So then you will write it down. Do you have a way to kind of secure your work, like what you're thinking? So you're going to be writing down the math that you think is appropriate for the problem that I'm giving you. And then after you write it down, and I'll kind of time that to help you, you can turn your paper over and then we will have a share. So you're going to think about the problem, write down what you think you will do to solve the problem, and then just turn your paper over. Then we will share what you think. Okay, do you think we can learn from each other about your thinking? Mm -hmm. Yes, and hopefully you'll have some agreement. Be prepared on your share to say, I was thinking this because. So be prepared to share what your thinking is, and hopefully together you can reach an agreement on how to solve the problem. Do you have any Share with the, uh, your partner your thinking on this, and make sure you're able to defend. Um, be willing to sway your neighbor, if necessary, on what to do with this decimal situation. Um, um, 1599 with 75, and I got 674, then I subtracted that, that with 1599, then I got the same answer. All right, same thing is that. Yeah, that's what I got. I got uh, 15.99 plus 0 decimal 75. And I got 16.74 as the, that's how many DVDs cost online. We got the same answer. That we should divide it because you could get the answer easier because see how much you have money left and use that to use to see how much the soup costs. I think if you add to four eighty five until you get the total of the lunch and all like add until you get seven ten. <laughs> well if you divide you can put four eighty five into seven ten. But I did the hard way because I can't divide. You can't. So divide if you can. So you see if you divide seven by ten, then four eighty five. Then you take out them. But if you added, however much you add was your suit. See if see how many times that goes into that, and whatever your remaining money is is how much the co the suit costed. That's what. Well, I did like if you did some random number plus that, and it got seven ten. That's how much your Mm. Well, that would have been a harder way because you might mess it up. Yeah. You could mess up your adding. I play the guessing game. Well, I think you should go out. Bad. Add four seventy-five times twenty-five, uh. and. And then he tried 475 so, times 40, and it was still So you don't have long. a question about what to do. You both said you have to do. We, have we to know what to do. We just divide it by. But you're not sure which divide value it would be. What would be a strategy that you're using to try to find that divide number then? I'm just, like, putting numbers. We're trying to, we're um, timesing numbers as, like, higher up and seeing if we can get close to But you both are in agreement on the what to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. How did you know to divide? What kind of equation would let you know that that's required um, to find the value of the variable? Because it said how many tubs must be sold to raise $570. And inverse, like, the multiplication. Oh, so what kind of equation is the original sentence? The multiplication. Yeah. Multiplication. Okay, so um, work on writing, how about work on writing that equation that goes with it first, and we won't worry about the divide part just yet. Can you do discuss what would be required for the division?